And now the third factor, resistance. This factor is controlled by the nature of the material through which the electrons flow. Again, going back to the motion of electrons in a metal, we said that they moved freely about and among the atoms. However, even in the best of conductors, some of the electrons collide with the atoms, tending to retard the movement of the electrons. This is the cause of electric resistance. Collisions are more probable in some metals than in others. Therefore, different metals offer different degrees of resistance to the flow of electrons. For example, copper has low resistance. It permits the electrons to flow freely with few collisions and is therefore a good conductor. Iron offers more resistance than copper. Collisions with the atoms are more frequent. 